This is my father, Russell. Uh, He's 76, and in May of last year, he was diagnosed with terminal brain cancer. Here he is with his niece and his sister, Eileen. Uh, This is a very short video, just updating those that have been regularly in touch and uh, very kindly donating some funds for some of us to travel and spend some time with him. So, Dad, it's the end of the second night. It's been one of the greatest nights of my life, actually. Thank you so much. This video is uh, giving you a little bit of an update and just follows Dad uh, temporarily at times through here, it's Christmas Day and then through some other uh, key areas of the calendar over predominantly 2020. So Dad has certainly shown a lot of resilience, tenacity, uh, and just his drive and determination, uh, very much inspiring to a lot of people. He hasn't given up, that's for sure, and continues to move forward as best as he can. He has had a couple of uh, incidents over the last two months in particular, and at time of this recording in uh, July of this small film, he is still recovering from uh, a stroke a few weeks ago. But here's a little bit of footage heading towards July. With coronavirus, of course, New Zealand went into a level four lockdown in March and April, and Dad remained in the bubble predominantly of my sister Emma, uh, and spent some time here at uh, at her house and was um, very nicely looked after. He continued just to uh, be as positive as he possibly can, and after the lockdown attended his uh, great-great-nephew's birthday uh, and even uh, revisited uh, one of his brother's graves here in Kaipoi. Unfortunately, in May, he had a fall, and that caused a bit of a goose-eye egg. However, as you can see here, it uh, recovered pretty quickly. Didn't stop him from going down to his favourite bar, Bill's Bar, having uh, a jug and a pint, apparently, I'm told. And then... It did affect, however, his balance and his ability to see. And so his mate Ron, he's here playing a game of pool for what was the last time. Eleven o'clock. Uh, wow. Did you get Stevens? No, he did done. He did his stomach. In June, Dad was found at home uh, by my sister, um, 
having had what appeared to have been a stroke. Uh, so my colleagues very lovingly attended to Dad and transported him through to Christchurch Hospital. As you can see, nothing's going to stop him yet again. Uh, he was up within a few days, getting rehabilitation and being as strong as an ox again. I am getting a bit slower than doing things, all that sort of stuff. So it's going to be not the head of seeing doctors, uh, physios, uh, occupational therapy, people, and all sorts of bloody people today. Another example of his ability to bounce back and get on with life. Uh, Pretty incredible, really. Here's an example just a week later with him. Get their muscles moving. So, our thanks uh, for the Give a Little so Funds that you've very kindly provided, which I has enabled to us he goes to, over there every able to travel so to see and spend some time with Dad. Right, this is see. just a couple of weeks ago. Uh, in Littleton, uh, we very much appreciate it. The weekend. How long does Dad have? Okay. We're not sure. Birthday is coming does. up on September the 9th, oh, no, uh, and then Christmas. So for now, that's the update. Thanks very much for watching, and thank you very much indeed for your kindness that you've displayed to Russell. Hey old man, how are you going? I'm good. Got a hundred red bloody trophy mark. Hi. Why do you like these? Oh, I love them. What's your favourite flavour? Egg and cream. Egg and cream. Ooh, why? <laughs>